Good morning. For today's lesson, we'll be talking about image tree. Now, image tree is uh, creating a picture in the reader's mind by using words that appeal to the senses. We have five senses. These are sense of see, sense of smell, sense of hear, feel, and sense of taste. Now writers appeal to these senses to bring their stories to the reader's imagination. Descriptions about these five senses create a strong image. And uh, using adjectives and adverbs can uh, describe or create vivid images um, that the writers would like us to experience. Again, to create a vivid images, writers also uses figurative languages to improve a reader's experience through their senses. So let's talk about the different senses. Let's have this example. It was night. What sense does this sentence appeal to? Let's be more specific and use descriptive languages for us to picture or see and imagine what it is at night. Let's have this example. The night was black as ever, but bright stars lit up the sky in beautiful and varied constellations which were sprinkled across the astronomical landscape. This sentence definitely appear to the sense of sight. This is what we called visual imagery an image that appeals to the sight or describe what we see. With this example, it helps us see the image or directly experience what the narrators see or directly experience through the narrator's eyes. In this example, the experience of the night sky is described in depth with color through stating black as ever and bright. Shape by stating varied constellations and even patterns, the word sprinkled. Visual images may include color, shape, pattern. Let's have another example. The baked cookies wafted from the kitchen to the living room. This sentence is not very descriptive. Let's have this. Let's add descriptive words. The sweet aroma of the freshly baked chocolate cookies wafted from the kitchen to the living room, causing Mary's stomach to rumble. Now, we're talking about how it smells using this descriptive word, sweet aroma. It creates a lot more of images. This imagery is called olfactory imagery, which appeals to our sense of smell. 
olfactory imagery may include fragrance and odor. Another example, she awoke to the birds and wind. Let's add descriptive words. She awoke to the chirping of the birds and the soft whisper of a breeze as it passed through the tree outside her window. The word chirping and soft whisper are a lot more active words which helps portray images that we can hear. This appeals to uh, our sense of hear, and this is what we called auditory imagery. Auditory imagery may include sounds, noises, and even silence or lack of noise. Every silence describing a peaceful calm. Let's talk about two more examples. The broad suit her sore throat. So let's improve this by adding descriptive words. The warm salty broth suit her sore throat as she ate the soup. The words warm salty definitely describe what we taste. This imagery is called gustatory imagery. It describes sweetness, sourness, saltiness, spiciness, and savoriness. Finally, this final example, the wind pierced her body. A gust of cold wind pierced her body. The idea of cold in this example appeals to our sense of touch or tactile sense. Tactile imagery includes temperature, texture, touch, and movement. So to recap, here are the key points or the points that you need to remember. Imagery is creating pictures in the reader's mind that appeals to the senses. Imagery uses description or descriptive words which appeals to the senses. There are five imagery, visual, which appears, appeals to the sense of seeing. Auditory appeals to the sense of hearing. Olfactory describe what we smell. Gustatory describe what we taste and tactile, which appeals to our sense of touch or feel.